more toxic flunkies to see. Don't you guys even realize that not everyone can afford a PC or a phone to run their emulators on, you know? So I last, so I did upload a video called People Should Stop Using the White as Death as excuse against the online membership. But I did receive this news article. Thankfully, we have some YouTubers to respect my opinion and have some good points on it. But I did get this. This was the online plans. Sure, all this looks legit true and all, but there's one thing that the fanboys don't even notice. This was all back in 2003, May 21st, before the DS and the Wii was made. Uh huh. The article focuses on whether consumers are willing to pay for online features and how much they are willing to pay. Of course, this has been a major issue for Nintendo along as their concern is how consumers will pay for and how Nintendo can profit from, from online games. And by the looks of it, all that does look true. However, I read the quote saying, quote, I don't think, think it's reasonable to make someone pay for a game to make them prepare for a network connection and change a monthly fee. But this was all back in 2003, even before the DS was even made, during the time when we had the PS2, the Xbox, and the GameCube. Now, yes, of course, people are going to argue about the Wii U, but however, Iwata did admit that the Wii U was a failure. Look, even though it was a good console, do not get me wrong, but Iwata did admit that the Wii U was a failure. Also, he was alive during the Switch's development. A person told me people also hated Iwata before his death, blaming him for the failures of the Wii U and the first few months of the 3DS. The focusing on only Nintendo's biggest franchises and ignoring their lesser performance ones. Focusing only on the casual market and ignoring their core audience during the Wii and DS days. So just to know that people will be angry regardless of the situation. They just want something to blame whether or not whether or not it deserves as much or any criticism. And that is a good point. Another friend of mine told me so basically these gamers are stuck in the past and misquote him out to the corruption of their unwillingness to pay for the service. And yeah. This was wasteful effort of their past. We should enjoy the games, not dewall in the police of politics of the industry. And Danger Ronin 04 had a strong, powerful point. Now, there are some people out there that are still playing the SNES online, whether some people agree it's bad or not. And you know what? I, res I respect those people for playing those classic games on the Switch online. We all should. Like, soon as you try it out, you start enjoying it. I mean, yeah. One more thing. This might be a definite possibility, but don't get your hopes too high. So you guys might have remembered I sent Nintendo a letter about people using Iwata's death as an excuse against the online membership in the past. Well, before they even announced the N64 thing. <laughs> Trying to find it. Ah, uh, here it is. This can be tough, but it's something we can do about Karen. For example, perhaps we make a game loved by most of our fans, but some of them don't enjoy it at all. We want to hear both sides. Maybe the game can be improved so more people can enjoy it, or maybe it's the game simply isn't for them, and we can make a different kind of game they'll enjoy. Those are the quotes that might happen, so... When Nintendo told me, hold on, let me find If they, when we hear all, sorry, I get my words wrong, I'm very sorry. When we hear all the positive things our amazing fans like you say, it encourages us to keep up the good work. When we hear the negative things people say, it pushes us to think how to make them happy. Two, we'll keep making great games that you can enjoy and be inspired by. Don't worry. For the people who aren't having 
who aren't yet having fun, just leave them to us. We have a lot of smart, talented people on the case figuring out how to let everyone have so much fun as you're having. Oh yeah, I even told them about the Mario movie and showed them my fan art. Truthfully, I wrote that letter as a proof that Nintendo still listens to their fans. Now sadly, there's going to be more flunky, toxic people out there that will continue using Iwata's death for years to come. And we're not going to stop defending it until someone steps up and says, we need to stop using Iwata's death as an excuse over this membership. It's getting really disgusting and disturbing and annoying. So yeah. Luckily, I had some people see my video, finally, and they said I had good points. Mainly because I pointed out some truthful facts. God, I'm glad this video is getting some good views. I decided to post this hashtag just so they can get some attention. So yeah, on my channel, I'm always serious and truthful. I show people realistic proof, and yeah. Also, this is my prediction in the future. Now, this is my prediction, but it might not come true, but that's okay. During the time, who knows? Maybe once the expansion comes out in October 31st, maybe there's a chance, there's a guess where we might get the N64 by itself after all that backlash. Also, the price might be changeable. Or alternatively, something else might happen. All we can do now is wait. Other than that, hope you guys liked this video, subscribe for more, and I will see you boys in the next video, so peace out.